Welcome, Cancerians, to your oracle card reading. For your medicine card this week, I pulled number four, Deer. Now, Deer medicine is all about gentleness. The story Jeremy Sam shares in the guidebook about Deer always stays in my mind. Deer subdued a demon simply by staring at it gently. Now, this card may mean that you need to be gentle with other people, or it may mean that you need to be gentle with yourself. Gentleness is beneficial most of the time and can be very powerful. Oftentimes, people have such big expectations of themselves. Everyone has moments where they need to recharge, and being gentle with ourselves is a great way to do that. As long as it's constructive, being gentle and kind to ourselves can be very healing. Now, as your mineral companion, I pulled Black Agate. Black agate is a root chakra stone of balance. If you've been going to extremes recently, it's time to stop. Now this could be finding a balance in a routine or within. Maintaining your center, your equilibrium, or seat during times of difficulty is an example of being balanced. For your advice card, I pulled number 58, the Tree of Life. And this card calls on you to reflect on your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Are they in balance in your life? Are your thoughts racing all over the place? Are your emotions spilling over? Or have you been too busy doing and not receiving? Now is the time to assess what is out of balance in your life and correct the situation. If you have racing thoughts, pull out a journal and put them down on paper, knowing you can always go back to that piece of paper for your to-do list, or whatever it is that's dominated your mind. If you've been too emotional, go for a long walk in nature, or watch a sad movie so that you can release that tension through your tears. If you've been doing too much, it's time for a break. All these situations are easily remedied. Now for your clarifying card, I pulled number eight, the Singer of Courage, in reverse. The number eight represents rhythm of, or repetition. So this may be a habit you have, a routine or work. The Singer of Courage in reverse represents fear. The first thing to do is to locate the fear and examine it to see if it is justified. Journaling and imagining the fear as a troll and asking what it is teaching you can be very helpful. Whether the fear is genuine or not taking action to resolve the issue. Remember, the major theme of your reading is that you are out of balance in some way. This fear has knocked you off your center. Simply grounding by walking bare feet on the grass, watering your houseplants, or going for a walk in nature will help you navigate and diminish the fear that you're experiencing. Take a step back and remember to be gentle like deer with yourself. It is okay to be afraid. Everyone is afraid at some point in their lives. But you can mind this feeling to find the spiritual gold or lesson that the fear is trying to teach you. Be kind to yourself this week, dear Cancerians, and bye for now.